What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome. Welcome. Today, we are taking it to the new and improved Geomag Stabilizers with our Arc Warlock and a weapon that I'm sure y'all haven't seen in quite a second, the Bad Juju Pulse Rifle. This combination right here between Ionic Trace from our abilities as well as that pulse rifle getting defeats giving us super energy we're able to have our chaos reach so so often and so fast with this build it feels like you have it infinitely when you're going through strikes raids whatever it may be you can do a good amount of damage stun overload champions with ease with this build with just our abilities and then we're throwing on a couple different options for energy weapons for y'all so you can pick and choose to your best ability what you like and how you play but let us get get into this build going over our armor pieces first so to start us out tell me the warlock drip isn't hot right here but to go over our geo max we have close enough damaging targets with chaos reach extends its duration as well as collecting those ionic traces grants us energy for chaos reach so this right here allows us to get back our super so so fast because with this build we're creating ionic traces literally everywhere with this build on top of that bad juju like i said and then we are throwing double kinetic weapon surge on this to help with that bad juju damage now when we move on to our helmet up here we're going to be using dynamo so when we throw down our rift near targets we're going to get reduced super cooldown as well allowing us to have that chaos reach even more often and like you see from the gameplay before and in a second the ability for us to get back our rift so fast with ionic traces is absolutely nasty now we do have kinetic siphon as well as harmonic siphon so all of our weapons are going to be creating orbs of power for us since we're using two arc weapons for harmonic and then obviously bad juju for kinetic now we are going to be using fire power so we create even more orbs of power on grenade final defeats and this again allows us to create that super energy even faster by picking up those orbs of power with bolstering detonation and fastball so we can throw our grenades a little bit farther with giving ourselves class ability by doing damage with grenades which allows us to proc dynamo more often now for me i went with concussive dampener and harmonic resistance on this for reduced arc damage as well as concussive for that aoe damage and with harmonic reserves right here for both of our arc weapons but you could instead throw on any of our other burns void stasis solar or even another arc depending on the activity that you are going into but it just felt right with having a hundred resilience and a hundred recovery recovery that we were just going to use harmonic as the other option and then finally on our class item we got that time dilation so kinetic surges last a little bit longer with double bomber so every time we throw down our rift we're getting that pulse grenade back even faster showing you that positive feedback loop of ability spam super spam with this build and able to do some pretty gnarly damage now, the aspects and fragments that make this build so, so good with that feedback of collecting ionic traces so often, as well as creating orbs of power with this build so we can get that super energy very, very quickly. We're gonna be using arc soul. So when we throw down our rifts, getting those little arc buddies to shoot, which also count as arc abilities for electrostatic mines. So defeating targets with arc abilities or jolted or black blinded targets creates ionic traces for us so all of our defeats with our grenades because they will be jolted as well because of our fragment down here with spark of shock those are going to help create ionic traces as well as with our melee in chain lightning because this jolts targets and our arc souls count as abilities so you can see right there just from our rift melee and grenade that's three ways to create ionic traces on top of that we're going to have a spark of reach 
charge so when we do get critically wounded we're going to be able to use our abilities even faster than we were before allowing us to jolt even more targets with these as well as have arc souls basically consistently with this build so like i said those ionic traces are just flowing everywhere allowing those geo mags to give us even more of that super energy by picking those up now we are going to be using spark of feedback right here so we can have that nice increase in that melee damage which helps with our jolt in chain melee and then spark of amplitude since we are becoming amplified literally with the ionic traces that we're creating as well help us to create even more orbs of power so you can see we're collecting orbs of power from all of our weapons from our grenades as well as just all those rapid defeats is going to create more orbs to give us that super on top of the ionic traces and bad juju speaking of the devil bad juju we have it right here which like i said hasn't been pulled out of the vault for a lot of people i'm sure in a second we have its exotic perk which is that string of curses kills refill the magazine increase damage and grant a super energy and the energy is nothing to joke about so those kills extend the duration of the string of curses and it does increase the damage stacking up decently well especially with our kinetic surges on our boots now for the energy weapons have a couple options i went with midas reckoning with well-rounded as well as golden tricorn so we can stun those unstoppables with this not just the jolt which stuns overload but you could go something like nezarax whisper in a glaive the path of least resistance forbearance always a go-to definitely running this on my ad clear when we're going through like the first encounter of crotas or something like that but if you do gotta deal with unstoppables which you do also in the first encounter of crotas but overall when you're in gms this might be a good option for those unstoppables rather than this which doesn't have that option this season but we do also have it backing up the seventh seraph saw which has a vorpal clown cartridge as well as you will see in a second on our artifact we do also have overload machine guns which helps with that saw now on top of that we do got unstoppable fusion like i was talking about with elemental orbs in the arc version here so we're going to be creating those as well now on top of that right here all of those champions that we're stunning are going to take bonus damage from our abilities specifically then our elemental orbs but we are going to be using that for our arc soul grenade and melee as well as refreshing pickup when we pick up a tangle or an elemental orb in our case our arc orbs when we use them we are going to get a nice little ability energy for our least powered ability and then we're going to be using elemental munitions as well as mono chromatic meister to give us that vice damage increase as well as having the chance to drop those special and heavy ammo so this build is absolutely insane how fast you get your chaos reach super back with these geomag stabilizers collecting the ionic traces specifically helps a lot and then that bad juju coming in clutch all of those defeats that you're getting absolutely juices the amount of super that you get. It surprised me how much you get from the defeats with this weapon. And then, like I said, we're able to spam our abilities, creating even more of those ionic traces, using dynamo on our helmet by throwing down our rift next to those enemies as well, which give us super energy and all the orbs of power just in general that we're creating from our our amplification and those rapid defeats grenades as well as all of our weapons so the supers will be flowing with this build feels just like you have it infinitely almost like you did back in the day where you could just run around at the end and get it super super fast with this build right here it feels almost like that if not better because that bad juju and ionic traces just feels so so right and crispy like i said you'll be popping super after super juice in the dps with this build as well so 
hopefully you guys enjoy this one definitely my warlocks check this one out we do have a, a banging giveaway going on as well right now for a nice new pc so make sure to go look at that join the discord subscribe to the channel here so you don't miss out on any of that kind of stuff giveaways build videos and just keep it updated with the channel everything like that so i truly appreciate all y'all i will catch you guys in the next one peace